So a slightly different one here this week. I decided to call this animation Bricking It. And as you can see, you've got little blue balls that suddenly spontaneously become bricks. And I wanted to make some animations that try to convey different emotions through the movement, through the visuals, through what you're seeing. And I see the emotion of bricking it to be quite a complex emotion. It, it's like a mixture of anxiety, a mixture of fear, and a mixture of excitement. So I wanted these bricks to have quite a bit of energy. There's excitement there, but there's also um, a little bit of fear so they disappear again quite quickly and the anxiety I have tried to get across by making the bricks pop out quicker and quicker so the amount of bricks that are popping is gradually increasing to kind of make you feel a bit anxious you know anyway it was just an idea I was playing around with I put it on Instagram people seem to like it so I thought I would show you how I made it and in this video you can see that these are little balls of plasticine and I start off by just making each ball bigger as it's gonna pop and then I put a brick on top of the clay um, where I'm gonna remove that clay in post-production so I paint it out so you'll have a frame where it looks as if the block is actually hovering and then that single brick becomes a double brick and then I kind of rock it back and forth on the spot to give a little bit of a bounce and then it goes back to being a single brick again and then returns to being plasticine so it's quite a simple cycle it's basically replacement animation but it's quite effective and I'm going to play around with this idea more I'm going to perhaps use different color clays different objects to try and show other emotions maybe I'll do one for anger or sadness or love and uh, see what that would look like and make a series out of this. A lot of people have been asking me recently how do you convey emotion through your animation and I feel like this might be a, a nice starting point for showing how to do that. Um, it's something I'm exploring and playing around with it. Hopefully you have enjoyed seeing how I've made it and uh, yeah I'll catch you again in the next tutorial.